Good morning, good morning. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. It's Debbie Paulson. God bless you. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know, I got so much on my heart this morning. Man, and I'm kind of mad of Satan. Oh, so first of all, I want you to pray for me. <laughs> pray for pray for my family. Um, my husband's going for um for some procedures tomorrow. Pray for America. Pray for the world. Listen. Oh my goodness, I'm throwing pillows and everything. Um, there's so much happening. Oh my goodness. Broke my nail. Um, if you notice, this weekend was really kind of wild. We, we had storms. We had, I mean, serious storms here where I live. Um, but thank you, Jesus. The angels protected us. You know, we're surrounded by woods, you know, uh, where we are. And um, there was like a tree. <laughs> One tree branch broke in our yard and I'm like oh my goodness that's amazing because the winds were so crazy so turbulent so amazing and I'm like thank you Jesus you didn't harm let any hurt harm or danger come to us listen I want you to share this this um this video today share 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 because I'm going to be talking about what's happening in the world Afghanistan Haiti um the Antarctic there's there's rumors and rumors of wars there's pestilence there's storms there's ooh, chaos everywhere and my spirit is wound up this morning I mean I'm just oh you know what I can't stand the enemy I hate Satan oh, oh you know <laughs> and what he's doing to the world what he's doing to people People in general, not only Christians, but Muslims, but um, Buddhists, but Hindus, but everyone. Satan is attacking and it's just crazy. And it's like enough is enough, you know, and enough is enough. So it's like, come on, come on. It's time to pray. You know, second, second, oops. I'm sorry. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Did you hear me? Turn from their wicked ways. I'll hear them. I will. I'll hear them. I'll restore them. I'll rescue them. I'll protect them. God wants to help us. God wants us to cry out to him. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm kind of playing with the phone that it won't ring while I'm doing this broadcast. But I'm going to be praying today. I want you to pray. Not witchcraft prayers. Not praying, oh, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. Don't pray that or um, or curse that person. or You know, we don't do that. We don't do that. You know? Uh -huh. You know what, Satan, uh, don't be used by the enemy. Don't allow Satan to use you. I placed a, uh, um, oh my goodness, a post out this morning um, on, I think it was community or something like that. And yes, I got responses. And it's just to pray. Pray not only for Christians, but pray for every nation that's captive under the Taliban right now. Talking about, you know, Afghanistan. There's more than just Christians there. There's, there's more nations there that are trying to get out. There's more people that need help than just Christians. And yes, I love Christians. I love Americans. I love all people. That's the one one thing God has given me truly as a gift. I love people. So you know what? When I hear or when I see somebody just praying for their select group, it burns me up. Because, you know, God is not selective. God loves all. God sees all. He knows everything that's happening. 
Woo! And he wants us to be right. You know what? Second Corinthians says to turn from our wicked ways. Repent, in other words. You know, change your attitude, change your disposition, change your your um recourse. Change it so God can deal with you properly. Listen, that's what, you know, when all this pandemic it started happening and all the things, you know, people just kept flying off with this scripture. Second Chronicles 714. They kept saying, you know, pray, you know, humble yourself, seek God's face, you know, repent. You know, and people just thought they they I think some many people took it so nonchalantly. They said, Oh well, oh Lord, you yeah, help us, you know, help us get through this COVID, help us get through this. But then it attacked the world. Yes, the world. And people started, you know what I'm saying? But it it's not just for your little camp. It's for the world. Pray beyond your borders. Woo! Reach beyond your borders. Listen, um, Haiti had a 7.5 earthquake this weekend. Lord Jesus, send help. Listen, um, mission. Uh, oh my goodness, I have friends. Um, oh, Pastor Lex and me, and Lex and Renee. And they have Missions of Hope International. I'm going to post it on this video. Send donations. They need your help. They need your prayers. They need intercession. But they also need nurses and doctors. They need workers. They need, you know, people to help them rebuild. Help. Not only, you know, with eye service, with ear service, but with your hands, with your feet, with your fine finances dish out <laughs> God wants us to be used by him you know what that's another thing that burns me up oh, man churches churches have been so um oh my goodness what's the word um uh isolated and one-sided and and what's the word what's the word there's a word I'm looking for they've been so um a narrow minded narrow focus only me and my you, you know and uh uh god doesn't want us to pray for only me and my god wants us to reach out beyond the borders reach out beyond anything that you could see or think or imagine god wants you to reach to the harvest god wants you to reach to the muslims god wants you to reach to the kurds god wants you to reach to the hindus god wants you to reach to the buddhas God wants you to reach out. Reach out. Don't just be isolated. Don't just be in your little your little corner. Just me, myself, and I. Don't do that. God wants you to stretch out. Listen. Oh, getting back to what I... <laughs> oh, my God. It's almost like a rant, but I'm going to pray. I am going to pray. Listen. Also, there was a 7.7 um, a um, earthquake in the... Antarctics in the Antarctics this weekend. What? Come on. The earth is groaning. The earth is moving. The earth is <clears throat> God is is um measure out judgment. God is saying enough is enough. Listen, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek his Face. Not just for me and mine, but for all people of the world. Not just for you. Not just for your little group. But reach out. Reach out. You know, there's a song, reach out and touch <laughs> somebody's hand. Listen, God wants us to go beyond the borders. Go beyond anything. Mm. And he wants you to pray. Listen, Romans 
um, nine and 25. I'm going to get in, I'm going to get more in the word, but I want you to know, yes, I'm on a rant today because it's not just you and your church, you and your special group, you're in you, you and your country club that you go and go and worship. No, it's not all just that. It's God's people around the globe. Listen, oh man, God has more than just you and your little group. Listen, God wants you to be a prayer warrior. Don't allow Satan to just use you to um to to um deceive you to what's going on, to close your eyes, close your ears to what's happening. God needs you to move. God needs your hands and feet. God needs your finances. God needs your mouth. God needs your ears. God needs you to do what what you don't even think you can do. God wants you to move. Don't allow somebody to stop you. Don't allow somebody to pull the wool out of your off out of your off your feet to say you can't do something. Don't allow Satan to to um trip you up and say, "No, you're just a young Christian. You can't do anything. You just need to stay here and read and stay and read this Bible verse." That's all you need to get get moving. Get your butt out of gear. Woo, I said it. <laughs> God wants us to be on fire for him. Listen, if you don't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, now is the time. Ask for it. He'll give you, he'll give you the power of the Holy Spirit. He will make you move out into ways you know not. Listen, there's so much that you can do, so much that you need to be doing, not just in your country club of your, your local assembly church, but outside in your neighborhood, outside in your town, outside in your city, outside in your state, outside in America, outside in the borders of, of you know, of every nation. God wants you to move out. Listen, I want to pray because I'm, I don't want to just get in a tangent here. I want to pray because I want the Holy Spirit to, to lead me and guide me into all truth. And that's especially with my mouth. I don't want to deceive you. I don't want to harm you in any way. And you know, your tongue can harm people and I don't want that to happen. But I want you to be encouraged and strengthened and blessed and move out into your gifts and callings. Hallelujah. Listen. Let's pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're doing on this video. I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you'd use each and every one now and in the future. I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you touch hearts and minds, Father God, that they'll not stay closed-minded, Father God, or shielded in their own little group, Father God, but they'd stretch forward. Forth. Hallelujah with you. Hallelujah. Yeshua HaMashiach. That they'll be used by you, Lord Jesus. That they will do the works of the gospel. Hallelujah. Father, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to intercede in their behalf. Father God. Father God, move out. Move out, Lord Jesus. Father, I ask you, Lord Jesus, that your hand of protection, your hand of mercy will be on each and every person, Father God, that's trying to get out of Afghanistan. Father, I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you'd protect them, that you'd shield them. Father God, that you'd make a way that seems like there's no way. Father God, send the warring angels, send the ministering angels. Father, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to send help to Haiti. Father God, yes, Lord, send help, Father God, send missionaries, send, send warriors, Father God. Hallelujah. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Glory to God. Father God, we ask you, Lord Jesus, that that you'd send warriors, Father God, into the Arctic, Father God. Father, send warriors, Father God, to every part of the world, even now, that
that the pandemic is still rising and falling. But Father God, I ask you, Lord Jesus, to arrest, Father God, that demonic stronghold, Father God, which name is COVID. I ask you to arrest, Father God, the demonic forces, Father God, that are against each and every one, Father God, in government, in the states, in the cities, in the towns, in the countries, Father God. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to send out the warring angels, Father God, to do the battle in the heavenlies, Father God. Father, let your justice come forth. Father, let your justice come forth in Jesus' name. Father, we ask you, Lord Jesus, that you would arrest every demonic stronghold, that you would oh Lord Jesus, arrest the enemy, Father God, on every front, on every front, in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that's risen up in judgment shall be condemned. So, Father God, we just declare, Father God, a bloodline around the world in Jesus' name. Around the world, we declare a bloodline around America, Father God, around every country. Hallelujah. We we ask you, Lord Jesus, for a bloodline around every state in America, Father God, every town, Father, every city, every home, Father God, every person, bloodline, Father send the warring angels out Father God and do battle in the heavenlies Father God we ask you Lord Jesus that you turn what the enemy meant for evil turn it around Father God Father we ask you to stop it stop Lord Jesus every weapon that the enemy is using Every stronghold, bring it down, Father, in Jesus' name. Everything that the enemy is trying to, to use against your body, against each person, against the harvest, against every person on the face of the earth. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Oh, Jesus the Christ. Father, I praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We repent, Father God, in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo, Shonda. You know what? God wants us to... Ooh, he doesn't want us to have a spirit of fear, but of love and power and of sound mind. Hallelujah. He wants us to go into the battle knowing that it's already won. He's won the battle. But all we have to do is continue to pray, continue to intercede, continue to seek his face. God, a bullshanda. Woo, glory. Mm. Yes, there's more coming, but we need to stay in um war mode. We need to sp stay in spiritual war mode. And that's on your knees, praying, moving in prayer. Hallelujah. You don't just have to stay in your, on your knees you, everywhere you go. Be praying in tongues. Be praying, warring in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Because... Oh, man, man, God wants us to move. He wants us to move in him, through him and around him and only him. Only when we call out on his name, will he help us? Will he intercede? Will he war in us? Listen, Ooh, I didn't know what I was going to say because I was, I was, I was angry. I was wound up and you know I was looking at America and I was saying you know what we as an Amer Americans we should all be who incensed this morning we should be angry and not only um for Americans because there's more than a more a, more than a, just Americans I can't even talk right more than just Americans um um 
fighting against um tyranny there's more than just oh my goodness oh yeah. oh my lord there's so much going on but we have to stay engaged you know what so rabbi sander man i hardly speak <laughs> the enemy tries to blind blind us he tries to um who only give us um what what he wants us to hear that's why the uh, the um who uh, oh my lord you know what i don't want to get thrown off of facebook but listen if i get thrown off of facebook go to gab i'm on gab.com i'm on um rumble i'm on youtube I'm on, um, what else am I on? Oh my goodness. Um, Signal. I'm on, oh man, I'm on so many. Um, listen, remember what I just said. I'm going to also put that up there, but you heard it right. <laughs> but you know what? Listen. Whew! Satan came to try to kill, steal, and destroy America and the world. But you know what? God, God is, whew, time is winding up. And he's saying, God is saying, uh-uh, not on my watch. Not on my watch. God is, whoo, fighting for us. Listen, I hope you got stirred up. I hope this encouraged you to to not just stand there, not just say, oh, well, oh, my goodness, the Taliban just did this. Or, oh, no, there was an earthquake here. Oh, no, there was an earthquake there. Get on your knees or even just walk the floor. Listen, we all have a stake in this. We all have. God wants us to get busy for him. Hallelujah. Man, whoo! <laughs> There's so much, so much more, and <laughs> so much more I want to say. And you know what? God, God's got it all. Listen, you be encouraged. You stay prayed up. Get prayed up. If you're not prayed up, prayed up, you get prayed up. Pray in tongues. Listen, those that don't know the Lord. <laughs> If you say, man, that woman's fired up. I want I want to pray for you. If you don't know the Lord, I want you to know him because he's the one that's going to take save you. He's the one that's going to protect you, especially in times like these, in turbulent times where you don't know one day from the next. You don't know what's going to happen when you open your eyes or even the next hour. So things are happening minute by minute. Listen, you want a, a sure foundation? You want to know without a shadow of a doubt? Out that your eternity is assured repeat after me heavenly father right now i repent i ask you to come into my heart i ask you to remove every single thing every sin that i've done in your sight because nothing can be hidden in your sight i ask you lord jesus to forgive me for all of my sins and to come into my heart come into my life come into my heart and make me new because i desire to be yours sold out blood bought child of the most high and father i will serve you for the rest of my days who glory to god and also one more thing lord jesus i ask you to give me baptize me also with the holy spirit who top it off seal me with the blood of yeshua hamashiach jesus the christ now hallelujah Woo! glory to god if you said that you are sealed Woo! with an everlasting seal you're sealed with yeshua hamashiach jesus the christ you're sealed with the blood of the lamb Hallelujah. Glory to God. And now no one can snatch you out of his hands. I hope this encouraged you. I hope it blessed you. Get fired up. Hallelujah. Get prayed up. Continue to pray. If you don't have your prayer language, ask him for it. He gives you good gifts. He said, I will withhold no good thing from those that love me. Listen, this is Debbie Paulson. I love you much. Talk to you soon. Whew. You might see me again today. Bless you. <laughs> Woo!
Woo! I told you I'm fired up. Get fired up. I love Jesus. And so do you. See you soon. Blessings.